You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a familiar face to BCA viewers, uh, Hillary Lovell from Signature Healthcare. Welcome, Hillary. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. You are involved in a great event here in the City of Champions. Yes. The Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, or as Jay and I affectionately know it as BKKD. You're is right. It's a little acronym. Yep. Okay. And it's the fourth annual one coming yes. up this year. Yes. Signature Healthcare, where you work, mm -hmm. is a major player. Mm hmm Tell us how Signature's involved, and there's a series of events. This, yes. this is not just a one day, you know, flash in the pan. Right, So right. talk about your involvement, Signature's sure. involvement, and message you want to get out. Okay, so, um, you know, Signature Healthcare is involved with the kickoff. We, um, this year, the event is running from June 6th through June 13th, and Signature Healthcare typically, since it's, you know, began in 2011, has been, um, we, call, we say that it's a bookend. So we're the kickoff, and then it usually wraps up with a walk, which is happening this year um, at DW Field Park in, in kind of partnership with the Old Colony Y and the Kids Road Races, which is wonderful. So Signature Healthcare has typically done um, what we call our Diabetes Day. Mm -hmm. um, and in the past, it's really included several um, components that include healthy cooking, includes a vendor area, um, includes an Ask the Expert area so that folks coming in can come in and ask questions of those experts. It might be a diabetes educator, it could be um, an endocrinologist, maybe a nutritionist, maybe mm -hmm. even a primary care physician. Um, we have activities for kids and a lot of times, you know, over the years we haven't really seen a lot of children come and we'd love to have more families come um, this year. That's what we'd really like to see. Um, the kids' activities include fitness. So mm -hmm. the Old Colony Y is a great partner of the whole campaign, and they provide the fitness activities for adults and children throughout our event, which is wonderful. They generally have an obstacle course or kind of a fun kind of workout for the kids. And then historically, they've done Zumba for the adults, and the mm -hmm. kids can join in as well. Um, we have screenings as well, which is a really big draw for the community. Um, a lot of times, insurance may not cover certain um, screenings. And we have our vascular team, who has been part of our program for the past few years. They'll be there again this year, on June 6th. And uh, they offer, they bring in um, portable equipment, so they're able to check for blockages in the um, abdomen, they check for blockages in the legs, and then they check for um, blockages in the carotid artery as well. Um, and then, of course, the other screenings like blood pressure and, and cholesterol mm -hmm. and glucose, that type of thing also. All the fun stuff. All the fun stuff. But, you know, honestly, I have to say we would not be able to um, have the event or be as successful as we have been without the various community partners. Um, and Brockton Nugstown Diabetes has about 40-plus mm -hmm. partners um, from across the area um, who have been part of the, the campaign. And I really feel like that's what's made it so successful. Well, I know we're going to do a whole show with a panel and yes. everything, so we'll yes. tell you about all those yeah. sponsors. The date itself, Saturday, June 6th. Correct. What's the time? Nine to one, mm -hmm. and it takes place at the Shaw Center uh, here in Brockton, um, which we've had it there every year since it began, and they've been so fantastic to us. Um, if the weather's nice, we actually put the fitness exercises out back, um, right? You know, kind of overseeing Campanelli Field, which is kind of nice on a Saturday to get outside, get some fresh air, and some exercise. It has to be nice. Yeah, that it day. has that to day, be nice. I well, love it when it's nice. For, for, for your event, and then at two o'clock is the Brockton High graduation, yes. right around the you're corner right. at, right. at uh, Marciano Stadium. Yes. So so we need good weather yes, that day because absolutely. you know what happens if it's not good weather that day? You guys are indoors and we do the graduation on Sunday, which nobody likes to do. Of course. It gets moved a day and God forbid it rains on Sunday, then it's Monday. And oh. Brockton High is too big to have kids inside, inside. and a graduation. And all those no their space. family members, yeah. So but you, you educated me on something I didn't know. Jay has sat in on most of the meetings so far. Um, the walk is at DW Field Park. You switched the location. That had been in the past over at the, the Marciano Stadium yes. in the following week. Yes. So now it's not in the shadow of Rocky, but right. it's over in our great DW Fields Park. It is, yeah. And they've been working with Dave Gorman, who runs the Kids Road Races. Mm -hmm. So it will be um, throughout, you know, the Kids Road Races will be part of it as well. And I know that Frank McDonald, actually, I think is going to be coming in to speak with you um, soon. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has all the details on that, on that great event as well. And it's the following week. So like it you is. said, bookends. bookends. Starts on the 6th, mm -hmm. goes to the 13th. Correct. Are there still the different events that happen around the city on 
the different days. Like I know in the past there have been events mm -hmm. at the Neighborhood Health Center. Yes. There have been events at Signature. Yes. What's, um, I know I'm bringing everybody in yep. to, today and, and, and um, various segments we're going to do sure. on this, but w give us a taste of the other days. So uh, there's actually quite a few um, events, and it's hard to rattle them all off because there are That's so okay. many, but there'll be many opportunities to utilize the um, the buildings of the old Colony Y here in mm -hmm. Brockton. Free, free days. You can go in and go swimming. You can use the facility, which is wonderful. They're opening their doors. Um, yes, you are correct. The Brockton, Nux, um, the, excuse me, the Brockton Neighborhood Health Center is holding um, classes also. Uh, Brockton VNA will be holding some. Mm -hmm. um, and even if it's not being held at the Brockton VNA, um, Julie Lohm is their diabetes educator, and she's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, many folks in the community know her as well. And she will be providing um, guidance and classes kind of off-site. One of the fun things that um, I hope to be able to see this year is they do um, beach ball. They do mm -hmm. um, kind of a, a beach ball game with uh, the adult um, day center. So, you know, I, I really hope to be able to make that event this year. Now, if I remember right, one of the adult day health centers um, also had um, Cape Verdean clientele. So yes. it's not like, okay, so the, the thing I, I want people to know is this is for everybody. everybody. This is for every community because yes. diabetes is something that cuts across Racial lines, ethnic lines, age lines, Correct. male, female, mm -hmm. adult, child. I mean, there is a juvenile diabetes type one, but this is type two Correct. that you don't know. Look at I, I have it. The reason yeah. I got involved year one is when Leo came up with the idea mm -hmm. and kicked it off and got everybody involved. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, yeah, maybe I should know a little bit more sure. for myself. And there was an awful lot to learn. I mean, you're talking about Julie. Julie, mm -hmm. phenomenal. You, you know, you have you have medical personnel, and, and it gets boiled down to the level where you can actually understand it, you can follow it. Correct. And maybe if you did some of the things that they recommended, mm -hmm. you wouldn't be reliant on medication right. as much right. as a healthier lifestyle. And my biggest issue is exercise. And yes. I, I like to I like <laughs> to eat. It's my vice. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I figured out if I can do certain things differently. Mm -hmm. And I learned it really at this. I have a great nurse practitioner where I am. She's the one that saved my life, basically. Not the doc, but the nurse practitioner, because we all know the nurses, uh, <laughs> uh, they're, they're a little more patient. The doctors are all good, but the nurses are patient. Anyway, I'm not, you're not <laughs> going to comment on that. You're going to be quiet. But I learned a lot. I went to some of the seminars, mm -hmm. and you know, the healthy cooking one, you, it, diabetes is not a death sentence, and you can um, regulate it if you choose to. Correct. If you don't, Correct. the consequences are not good. Well, and that's why they say it's really lifestyle. It's your lifestyle. If you can make some, some lifestyle changes, then you will be much healthier going forward. Um, and I will say, you're right, you know, the events throughout the week, do they, they reach all ages, all ethnicities, everything. You know, we have um, interpreters that are involved in, in the programming as well, as you mentioned, the Cape Verdean Adult Day Center. Mm -hmm. um, that's where I believe the beach ball uh, game is as well, which is really um, fun. And it's nice to, to tie in, you know, to work with the older adults, plus, you know, make sure that um, everybody can participate, which is great. Um, I'll also say that, you know, the Diabetes Day, which we have, we are um, looking at it this year as more of a health and wellness expo because we want those people to come in that maybe they don't know they have diabetes. They could be pre-diabetic. You know, maybe they just need to change some, um, some you know, make, some, make those lifestyle changes, you know, to, to get... Maybe they need to be introduced to some sort of exercise they can do or just change their eating habits or, you know, it isn't all about medication like I, I you mentioned. I wish they got to me when it was the pre-diabetic. <laughs> so what you do is great. Thank yeah. you, Hillary. We'll, we'll have you back on and other people great. back on to talk more about this. Great. Just to wrap it up real quick, um, Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes, fourth annual, kicks off on Saturday, June 6, 9 to 1 over at the Shaw Center, finishes up at DW Field Park on um, the 13th uh, with a walk and Dave Gorman with the Kids Road Races. So make sure you're part of Brockton Knocks Down Diabetes. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.